Hello, my name is Michael. Welcome to OnlineEnglishTeacher.com. I'm answering a question on how to improve your English if you're not around other English speakers, right? So I came up with five interesting ways to improve your English. And the first one is the most obvious, and that's actually it's two of them, and one is reading and writing, right? Reading and writing are so essential in learning English. If you really want to improve your English, you need to read different uh, books, articles, uh, just different material in general in order to expand your vocabulary, in order to uh, improve your comprehension, as well as, you know, you get to learn, you know, read interesting stories or articles that may interest you. Uh, the second part is also writing, right? Writing is very important as well, right? People often ignore writing because they think it's not, you know, I just need to read and learn vocabulary and talk, and that's not completely true. What is really important is also to learning to write down your ideas, right? Especially if you're taking the IELTS test, you need to learn to write a lot, right? As well as if you're a English, if you're working for an English speaking company and you're trying to learn English business, right? So writing is also very important because you may be uh, writing documents or reports. So I would recommend to do that. Try to have maybe read five uh, pages a day and also maybe write for five minutes a day to help improve your uh, writing and reading skills because it will greatly improve your speaking and English ability. And then we have number two. So number two is, uh, I think a lot of people like using number two, which is like language learning apps, like Duolingo and other similar apps. But I have another app that I think would be really useful for you guys, is which is called HelloTalk. Hello Talk is a language exchange app where you can talk to somebody who wants to learn your language in exchange for another language for free, right? They do have a paid subscription, but you do not have to pay that. So uh, with Hello Talk, say for example, somebody that knows Spanish that wants to learn English is trying to learn, uh, is trying to uh, teach somebody that wants to learn Spanish but knows English. You, you guys are able to exchange your languages, right, in order to help improve each other's uh, understanding of the language, right? So if somebody wants to learn Spanish, right, you teach them Spanish, and they'll teach you in English for, uh, in return. That's why it's a really useful app, because with that, you're able to, you know, expose yourself to English speakers for free. Number three is, uh, this is for something a little bit, maybe for a little bit higher level students. But I think it's so valuable, which is to start a group with your friends and family. And usually you can do it on WhatsApp, uh, Facebook Messenger, or whatever messaging apps that you guys have, right? You guys should start a group and uh, speak in English all the time, right? So if you guys are speaking in English all the time, you're obviously reinforcing the idea of English in your mind to uh, in order to, to practice and, and your, improve your ability in English, right? So I think it's really important to start a group. Uh, what you guys wanna focus on in the group is mostly just on grammar, maybe post some articles, maybe some vid videos as well, right? And then have a discussion about the things that you guys post in the group, right? Because I think that's very important. Always focus on improving your English, right? So number four is speaking with yourself. I know this sounds a little bit crazy, but when you speak with yourself, you're also reinforcing your English, right? Reinforce means like you're repeating in your mind in order to make it stronger, right? So when you speak with yourself, uh, something you can do is maybe talk about things that you have to do, maybe like a to-do to list, right? You can say, I wake up, I need to go to the bank, I need to brush my teeth and then I need to eat breakfast and then I need to get dressed. Then I need to take, uh, you can also use directions and then I need to go downtown, make a left, go, go straight, then make a right, then take two blocks down and then I'll be at the bank, right? So you can always find interesting ways to, uh, to practice English by yourself, right? By speaking with yourself. As well as you can also have a pretend conversation with yourself. I know that sounds a little bit crazy, but it's, you know, it works, right? You can always say, hello, my name is Michael, and then pretend there's another person. Hello, Michael, my name is blank, right? And then you can just have a pretend conversation. And then lastly, number five. Number five, if this is more for a higher level students, right? If you're maybe like B1 or like the intermediate level 
of students. Uh, what I would recommend is to teach your friends and family English, right? If, say, for example, you're very passionate about a language, right? I think you should have a lot of passion. Um, when you are passionate about the language, you are able to uh, express and teach those ideas to other people around you, right? Say, for example, that you have some family members or friends that I want to learn English, right? So when you're around them, you can teach them English. And they may come back to you for questions, right? Maybe let's say that you're teaching them the progressive tense. And they're asking, why is there an ing in the progressive tense? And then you explain to them, oh, well, it's because it's progressing, right? So I think it's very valuable that you can teach. If you're at a higher level, you can teach people how to uh, 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 learn English, right? But as well, this also exposes you to, um, you know, different material and you also search out for more information to improve your English, right? Because there's a lot of value in that, okay? So I hope that helped. Remember to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the video, right? And also, if you have any other, com if you have any questions or comments, please comment down below. Right? And I'll, obviously I'll write back to you. I read all the comments and I really want you guys to improve English. Okay? So I'll see you guys in the next video and take care.